so welcome back to bitfumes and in this episode we are actually going to create our delete part in our phone book app so with that i am your host sarthak and this is a channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so you can see my server is started here and i am accessing this page here everything we have done add part that's good then view part that's also good edit part we have done successfully now it's time to delete whenever i click on this red delete icon i want to delete this okay so let's just go to sublime and i will open project in our sublime i will go to resources assets js component and here on the home dot view here let's just close the sidebar here what you can see we have this delete icon for trash so let's just give a at click event and here i will say del not delete because delete keyword is reserved so we have to use del only okay so del but obviously we have to pass the key and list id so list dot id okay so we have passed these two let's create this function or the method so here i will say del and we have to accept key and id that's very nice let's just console dot log key and also id so id so that should be with a space so why not use backtick system and here let's use like this this with a space and now this let's just start npm run so open terminal and if you're on windows open command prompt npm run watch run watch it is started so you can see it is successfully built so let's go to sublime once more and here we have done everything correctly let's go to chrome open console reload the page and let's click on this delete icon it says list is not defined so now let's go and it is actually item not list so that should be item dot id so save changes go to chrome reload the chrome click here and you can see zero and one zero is the key and one is the id similarly one and two one is the key two is the id so key will be useful for removing the item from this list the list okay and the id will be useful for deleting the item from the database so obviously we have to use the axios so let's use axios and we have to delete so why not use delete method instead of post so delete method and the route will be delete why delete let's try to check what will be the route so i will go here stop the server php artisan route colon list every time we have done this that's good and to destroy phone book dot destroy we have to give delete and phone book slash phone book okay so that means here come phone book then we have to give the id so let's give the id like this so use backticks and here that's good very nice we have passed out the id then whenever we have the response we should console dot log and we have to say uh, deleted okay that's good so let's try this for now but before that we have to open the phone book controller so control p then phone book controller here we have the destroy part so we just have to say phone book colon colon where that should be where id is phone book arrow id okay and then simple delete okay so that's very nice let's go now to chrome reload the page 
and we have to restart the server so that's good restart server and now it's back here let's click this delete button and it says deleted and if I now refresh it's gone but we have to remove this from list also whenever it deletes okay so let's go to here so we don't need this controller now now firstly I want to have some confirmation whenever I click on delete I want a confirm message come so I will say if confirm then I will say a simple message are you sure okay if this is true then do this axios part okay and let's delete this and obviously if delete is successful then we have to remove particular item from our list this list okay so we have to say this dot lists dot splice okay and then we have to say our key here and we should have to say one only okay so let's just save this once more and go to chrome reload the page and let's click here and yes we are having the are you sure confirmation button so click cancel let's add one more so i will again say michael jackson <laughs> so i will say a phone number i don't know his phone number <laughs> then michael at bitfumes.com save and yes it is here but here is some problem whenever we have saved we have to add that particular field in our list but for now this episode we don't have to care about because we will deal some kind of these errors in the next episode so let's just refresh this page so that we have this Michael Jackson here and now if I delete this one click OK you can see it's gone also from our list and if I now refresh it's also not here in our list this means it is also deleted from our database this is very nice okay next thing is that I want a little loading icon here so let's go and say far loading and awesome examples and scroll down to have these icons so I will use this one for refresh okay so let's go to sublime and I want to use that just after this add new so after this add new I want this one but let's use a span and having a class of is pulled right and move this icon inside this and now what we have to say we if this will only uh, come if loading is true okay so we have to define this loading data in our app so let's define this so I will say loading is equal to false so let's now go to Chrome reload this page and yes it's not here but if I say it true loading is true you can see it's here but it is too big so let's give it 2x only so yeah this is cool okay so now call it false and what I want to say whenever I click on delete I will say this dot loading is equal to not of this dot loading okay so we have started or loading is true whenever I click on this delete part but if it is successful then I have to say again loading is not offloading so firstly we have turned it true then after delete it is false so let's go to chrome reload the page loading is not here add new just for now checking purpose so that everything is absurd and save changes refresh this page and if I click here 
and cancel, you can see fire icon is here. This means it is working properly. So we just have to move this inside if statement so that if it is true or user clicked OK, then only we have to use this. So it will be just a flash. So if I click here, click OK, we don't see any message or that loading icon because it's too fast. But if there is a delay, there will be the loading icon here. OK, so now let's see what are the errors we are going to cover in the next episode. So first error we have seen that if I add any entry here in our phone book app, then it will not able to display in our list. But I refresh because it's on database. It's here. So this is good. But we have to make sure whenever I add, it will just reflect in our list directly. We don't have to refresh. So then next one is that if I give any entry and save this, obviously it's not here. But if that should be here, then if we delete, then that will not delete. I will show you that delete problem in the next episode. When we finish this adding error, then we will see the next error for delete. So in the next episode covering the errors or the problems we have in the series. So don't forget to subscribe like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. We will meet in the next episode to cover the errors. Bye bye.